wanted to welcome everyone informal public dedication of the Smith Mountain Exhibit Signage Project. We started this project for two reasons. One, people had questions. A lot of people were asking questions, particularly people from not from around here. So <clears throat> they wanted to know about the dam. They wanted to know about the lake. They wanted to know about the history of the area. They wanted to know about the trees, the geology. And you've seen it on all these displays. We just feel like providing an education and interpretive signage uh, is, is something that uh, is very, very important. Helping people to understand the value of outdoor recreation and then helping people to understand to become stewards, uh, Britt, of this, this world, this land. Well, it was, uh, we got a grant from ADECA to uh, do the educational graphic displays. And uh, it was, you know, it was a big project, uh, but it was just, it was out of our range as far as funding. And uh, we couldn't have done it without the, uh, you know, the grant from ADECA. It was over $80,000 was contributed by the Recreational Trails Program uh, as an extension of the Federal Highway. And uh, we wouldn't have been able to do this without your help. And uh, so we really appreciate, appreciate your involvement all the time. <clears throat> We're a small organization. We have limited resources. But what we're able to do touches a lot of people. Oh, we're attracting a thousands of people we, you know we we don't know exactly uh we but we figure uh probably 30 to 50,000 a year at least and 30 percent don't even sign the register we know because we'll be in the in the parking lot and uh, they'll be full of cars and come up here maybe two people have signed that day so uh we're on all of our trails we're we, we're getting lots of, uh, of visits. Uh, one of our panels, as you know, is a panel that encourages people to hike. It's got a big map on it, Lake Martin, all the way from the Harold Banks Canoe Trail up on the upper end of the uh, Tallapoosa River down to the Yates Dothard Forever Wild property. We identified where people can go and hike. I was talking to people as they came up today and some walked the trail, some walked the road. Uh, some shared stories of heart-related issues and being in shape, not in shape. But that's what it's all about for us. The state of Alabama is doing a great job to promote hiking in Alabama because it does bring in a lot of economic development and it saves people's lives. And in cases like this, it's also the education that makes a big difference. It's a common fact that, that uh, exercise and recreation is, is good for your health. and. Uh, uh, for your physical health and your mental health. Uh, you know, strong body, strong mind. Plus, just being out here in a beautiful area, uh, it's just got to make you feel good. And, uh, and feeling good is a, is a, is a long way to, uh, to, to, uh, toward having, you know, great mental health too.